Hello everyone, my name is Seung Ming Gang and I'm PhD candidate from Department of Mechanical Engineering at Hanyang University. My advisor is Professor Simon Song. Today I will briefly introduce my research progress about enhancement of VIV driven energy harvester at lane number 150. At first I will introduce about several types of flow based energy harvester. First one is wind turbine that harvests energy from air flow. Wind turbine can be class classified as horizontal type or vertical type based on its rotating axis. Second one is vortex power plant. It generates vortex from uniform water flow and extracts energy from it by set of rotors. It usually placed at the downstream of river. Last one is vortex induced vibration VIV energy harvester, and this is our research topic. The bar oscillates by periodic vortex pattern and we extract energy from the periodic oscillation. From left to right, it's more convenient because it can extract energy from lower velocity of flow and it has small device size but at the same time the energy harvesting efficiency is low so our research object is to improve the energy harvesting efficiency of VIV energy harvester. This is background theory about VIV based energy harvester. Vortex shedding is a very well known phenomenon for fluid dynamic engineers. In the phenomenon, the vortex exert periodic lift drag force on the solid body. And if the solid body is constrained by spring constraint, then we can see the vibration of structure like this light. We can see the cylinder's movement from the transient state to dynamic equilibrium state. We extract energy from that dynamic equilibrium state. In sum up, VIV energy harvester has strengths in less restrictive conditions of flow, and it has weakness in low energy harvesting efficiency and sensitivity to flow direction. So our research purpose is to improve the energy harvesting efficiency of VIV energy harvester. About this topic, there are several previous researches. It can be classified as two types of researches that studied about the effect of arrangement and shape. At first, the research about arrangement has investigated the effect of cylinder's number and distance between cylinders on the VIV pattern and energy harvesting. And the research about shapes the whole geometry is changed to rectangular or triangle and the angle of attack can also change it to see the effect of it. And our research is extension of research about shape. Instead of changing whole geometry, we just place the small bumps on cylinder surface and investigate the effect. This is research objective. Enhancement of VIV driven energy harvester by a pair of bumps on a circular cylinder at lane number 150. To do this, we at first we performed and validated the numerical method for VIV simulation of cylinder, and second, we analyzed the relationship between bumps location and energy harvesting efficiency. This is our simulation setup. As schematic, we can see the flow direction and the whole size of numerical domain and cylinder's location and size and the distance between boundary and cylinder. And also we can see the bump's location and size and shape. At the grid part, we can see the whole scheme of grid and the close-up near the cylinder wall. The whole grid number used in simulation is about 60,000. In the table, the numerical method used in our simulation is summarized. In briefly, we used pinpoint dimpum soluble in open sof software open form to simulate fluid structure interaction. And discretization integration method was used to certify second order accuracy. To validate our simulation result, at first we compiled our simulation result of flow around stationary cylinder with previous research about lift coefficient, drag coefficient, and straw rumble. To validate our fluid structure interaction method, 
At first, we simulated vortex induced vibration case without bump. The grep is reduced velocity versus maximum vibration amplitude. Reduced velocity is dimensionless number that represent the natural frequency of cylinder. In the grep, we can see that our results have good accordance in all cases with previous researches. To verify our result of VIV case with bump, we generated grid, refined or constant two times compared to base grid. In the wrapped grab, the per important physical quantity, maximum displacement, energy harvesting efficiency, lift coefficient, and frequency ratio is plot. And, and you can see four variables all, all very insensitive to grid resolution at the grid used in simulation. By this insensitivity, we concluded that verification is done. To investigate the effect of bump angle and energy harvesting efficiency, we analyzed the relationship between bump's location angle and energy harvesting efficiency. The energy harvesting efficiency gamma is defined as the ratio of root mean square power exerted on cylinder to power carried by fluid flow. In the graph, we can see that in most cases, the bump's location have no significant effect on energy harvesting efficiency, except two cases. But when the bump is located at the 60 degree, the energy harvesting efficiency is dramatically increased and it goes peaks at 75 degree. To identify the increase of energy harvesting efficiency at two cases, we also analyzed the Two dimensionless number lift coefficient and frequency ratio. Lift coefficient represents the force exerted on cylinder, and frequency ratio represents the cylinder's vibration speed. The multiplication of two dimensionless number is closely related with the energy harvesting efficiency. At left graph, we can see the lift coefficient is maximized when bump is located at 60 degree. This is maybe due to the favorable effect of bumps existence is higher when bump is located at 60 degree. In contrary to lift coefficient, the frequency ratio is higher in case when the bump is located at 75 degree. Both cases are slightly out of resonance, but the speed is higher in 75 degree. Two dimensionless number that closely related with energy harvesting efficiency so shows conflicting tendency. So we can expect that the optimum location of bumps may exist near this 60 degree and 75 degree. To physically analyze the lizard, we flat the fresh coefficient control. The upper one is the case without bump and row 1 is case with bump. And time instant is selected as the time when cylinder is located at maximum displacement. It means cylinder is paused and the acceleration is maximized. So the power exerted on cylinder is maximized at the instant. The right graph is the distribution of pressure coefficient on cylinder wall. The lift coefficient is determined by the difference between the force exerted on lower part and upper part. And we can see the discontinuous jump on pressure coefficient at the location of bump. And it maximizes the difference between the force and power exerted on upper part and lower part. And this also lead to the increase of lift, lift force. We also analyze the vorticity control and streamline. The structure is same with the previous slide and the control has the same region. So we can see the vortex strength is much higher in the case with bump. And the curvature of the streamline at wake region is much higher and in the case with bump. It means that the 
roughness of solid body is much higher in the case with bump and it extract more energy from the fluid flow by more disturbing the uniform fluid flow and we can see a, a small circulating vortex at the rear part of attached bump it may be the cause of the disc discontinuous decreasement of pressure last the summarization at first we validated our numerical method of viv problem at low energy number 150 using open source software often form the efficiency of viv energy harvester was significantly increased by the attachment of bumps when bump is located at 60 degree or 75 degree but when bump is attached at another cases the effect was not significant Significant. This increment of energy harvesting efficiency is appears to be due to the increased lift caused by this continuous change in pressure caused by the bump's attachment. The increased dis discontinuity in the shape due to the presence of bump also created the recirculating vortex at the rear end of the bump and it also increased the strength of the Vortex and wake reason. Thank you for listening.